If you have kids, you may have gotten a letter from the IRS about monthly payments coming this summer, advance payments of the expanded child tax credit. And you may have gotten a second letter talking about opting out, but should you take those monthly payments or should you opt out? Good morning, Jason Mahler, CPA Charlie Hyde is here to hopefully clear up some of the confusion. Good morning, Charlie. <laughs> Good morning. It's a really popular so, yeah, topic I, among you know, parents right now, that's for sure. Right. A lot of questions about these letters. And again, um, the letters are just informing people that um, when you think about the child tax credit in the past, you always claimed it on your tax return mm -hmm. at the end of the year when you filed. Now, for the first time, they're sending out advance payments of that credit starting in July and running through December. And so that's what these letters are about is, do you wanna get these advanced payments? Which will mean that the credit you'll claim on your return is gonna get reduced by these advances, or do you opt out and take the full credit when you file your tax return? So let's kind of walk yeah. through maybe what the child tax credit is. I think everybody who, um, is eligible for it is going to be aware of this because in the past it was a two thousand dollar credit for kids under 17 um, and you claimed it on your tax return well that credit was as you said expanded and enhanced um, with the uh, american rescue plan that was passed in the spring of 2021 and so it increased the credit from two thousand to 3,600 for children under six years old and to 3,000 for children six to 17. Yeah, so that's a bit so that's more money a, there. Yeah. yeah, a big jump, absolutely it is. Um, and it was interesting, they added 17 year olds this year. That's 17 well. was not eligible in the past. So they've added an additional year for your children. Okay. So then the question is these advance payments and what is this? So mm -hmm. the IRS has been um, authorized by the Biden administration to get money out now, not wait till April of 2022 when people might be filing their 21 return. Mm -hmm. So the way that the credit is calculated are these advance payments is they're gonna look at your income from either your 19 return or your 20 return, depending on what what you, you filed, filed. Mm -hmm. yep. And if you're eligible, and what I mean by eligible is for these increase amounts, so we're talking a thousand or sixteen hundred. They're looking at as if your AGI on your 19 or 20 return was under 150 thousand for married filing joint, under 75 thousand for single. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to be eligible for these. Mm -hmm advanced payments that's a lot, and, and that's then the a lot way of people. Mm -hmm. it is a lot of people yeah. yep and so the way it works is you'll get 250 dollars for kids 6 to 17 per child mm -hmm. each month or 300 dollars for then your children that are under six okay so you think about it if i've got a seven-year-old and I don't opt out of this, I am going to start receiving a $250 check in July. Mm -hmm. And by the end of December, I will have received $1,500 of that $3,000 credit. Okay. okay, so you'll be, then you'll get the other half um, when you file at When you file time. your return. Okay, yep. so exactly. th these letters again mention opting out and I believe you can start opting out at the beginning of July if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but why would someone potentially want to opt out of these payments? Yeah, that's a, that's a great question. There's a lot of confusion on that. So the way I look at it is it, it's an individual decision for each taxpayer. You have to look at your household and what your needs are. And simply, if you're going to be in, you know, a young couple and you're under that 150,000, you have to look at your situation and say, hmm, would 250 or 300 dollars a month, starting in July per child, help me in this household from a cash flow standpoint? Maybe it would allow. Uh, one of the uh, parents who isn't currently working because they can't afford childcare to use this money to, to get childcare and enter the workforce again. Mm -hmm. okay. And that would improve the cash flow. So that could be a great example 
Um, if it is somebody who counts on a large refund at, when at they the file end, their right? return, People like that. they may not want to take it now because they're going to get less come April. Okay. And then clearly, if you're in the, you know, if you're over that 150, that's a tough consider. You have to consider, do I need this advance payment right now? Because what will happen is if I take these advance payments and then when I go to file my return, say I, I have a great year in 2021 mm -hmm. and I'm not even eligible for the child tax credit, which mm, would you're mean have to pay that the back. households, right, you'd have to pay it back. Right. So you don't that, those do are that. the kind of decisions you have to think about. Okay, so uh, some uh, things to consider as that uh, time comes to either opt out or start taking those checks that are going to be coming uh, into your into your accounts here in the coming weeks. Charlie, thanks for clearing some of that up for us. We appreciate it. You're welcome. Yep, Have a care. good day. You too. Well, coming up on Toledo's Only Live, local 9 a.m. show, it's time to give 